Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a plan with me for December 2023. I'm really excited about today's because if you can see in the background, there is a printable kit that I will be using to set up this month's journal spreads. And it's super exciting because it is part of the kit that I will be releasing on my Patreon. And if you didn't know, my Patreon will be opening on the 1st of December. So I'm very excited about that. Starting a Patreon has been something that I've had in my mind for quite a while now um, and I've just not really felt like it was the right time um, and a little bit of fear too. I recently did a Kickstarter as well and I almost didn't do that so because I went ahead with it and it was successful it gave me a boost of confidence to try the Patreon thing. So I'm really excited to get it going. I've had a lot of fun gathering and kind of creating for the kit um, and I will get a little bit more into the ins and outs of what is going to be on the Patreon. So basically it will be a Patreon all about journaling and planning. The idea is that I want to create a space that's really cozy and inviting, a nice community space for anybody who either is new to journaling or maybe they um, journal and they just want to find people who are like-minded to journal together with. So there will be four different tiers available to join. First off would be the tip jar and that is basically just like a behind the scenes, you'll get some updates, you get to vote on polls, that kind of thing and it's just a way for you to support me if you're not really that interested in anything more. Um, just a little nod to say that you want to support me and my business and that would be the first tier. So the next three tiers are where you're going to get the bulk of the journaling content and the first one up after the tip jar is the cozy corner. This is where I will be providing you with a one page journaling kit. I will do things like live streams, behind the scenes videos, maybe some early access to YouTube videos. I plan on sending out prompts to help you with your journaling um, and obviously you get the rewards from the previous tier as well so everything in the tip jar where you get to do polls behind the scenes updates all of that will also be included in the cozy corner tier um, i'm going to try and put together a little kind of information um slides for my instagram so if you don't follow me then pop on over there and follow whenever you're finished watching so that you can keep up to date with everything and have a better idea of what is included in each tier um so yeah next one will be the dots and scribbles tier. So in this one, this is where you're going to get your full journaling kit. So it's going to be around about four pages. Um, that's four A4 pages. So what you see on the screen there that I'm using for this journal spread, this is just kind of a sample of it to test it out. So um, it may not look exactly like this um, and obviously there will be more pages. So that's what's gonna be sent out. It'll be a digital download so that you can print it at home to use yourself. I like printing on sticker paper as it makes it easier than to just peel it off and stick it in, but you can also use it with glue and that kind of thing as well. Uh, it just makes it super accessible as well for anybody who doesn't want to pay for shipping and stuff like that, um, especially if you're international. And it also provides you with a kit that is cohesive so that you can have a whole month that looks cohesive and nice and aesthetic together. So that's basically what you will be getting in the Dots and Scribbles tier and all other rewards from the previous two tiers as well. And just a little note, in this you obviously see me using the December um, title. The kit that I will be sending out will be for January because I'm using it in this journal spread I put in December so that I could um, test it out but because the kit that I will be sending will be in the middle of December it only makes sense for me to put in the January title instead um, it might be a bit too late I mean you might set up your journal later anyway but I figured I would add the title for the next month the plan is that I would send out the kit sort of early to mid month each month and then the live stream or the pre-recorded video that I send out for the month will be um, closer to like the third week of the month. So it gives you the opportunity to have the time to set up your journal for the next month um, if it is something you're using in your bullet journal. And also if I do it live or if I do a pre-recorded video, you can journal alongside me. So that's kind of the idea that I had behind doing the live streams and the pre-recorded videos. I love putting on videos or putting on live streams whenever I'm journaling it kind of feels like I've got a buddy with me and we're journaling together which is really nice because um you know I don't know a whole lot of people in my day-to-day -day life that does this sort of journaling and 
because I'm setting it up week to week or at the start of each month, um, it's not always easy to meet up with somebody, especially since I'm a parent and I'm running a business. Um, so I figured maybe that could be other people as well. So anybody that wants to have a little bit of company whenever they're journaling um, would enjoy having the live streams and the pre-recorded videos, um, especially the live streams if we're able to talk in person, um, because if there's anything that you have questions about for journaling, um, then I'll be there to answer your questions or you can leave comments on the pre-recorded videos, um, whichever it is that month. Um, but I would love to know your preference as well down below in the comments. So let me know if you prefer live streams or pre-recorded videos. Um, if I, When I do the live streams, it would also be recorded as well. So if anybody can't make them live, then they will be available to watch back. So the final tier is a physical meal tier, which is called Moon Meal. This is basically going to be an ephemera bundle. Um, so you'll get a little pack every month that will be sent out and it will have lots of different ephemera in it. So it could be die cuts, it could be stamps, it could be stickers, it could be washi tape, uh, wax seals. There's going to be like a bunch of different things. Um, and so if you join in December, for example, um, then at the start of January, I will send out all of the physical tier rewards and then you can use that either in your bullet journals or in different types of journals. Um, and I'll also try to make like little um, maybe videos or uh, newsletter posts kind of showing how to use the ephemera as well if it's not something you're familiar with. It's something that I thought would be quite fun because whenever I create journal spreads in my bullet journal, I tend to use quite a scrapbooking collage type uh, style. Um, so I always have a little bit of ephemera kind of lying around or gathered or collected and um, I get complimented on the type of journaling that I do. So I figured if somebody wants to join the Patreon, it could be something that they would like to start to collect. Um, so I thought it could be a fun way to change up a physical reward tier um, for a reward like this. I know some other people use um, the physical reward tiers on journaling. Uh, Patreons for just stickers, like a sticker sheet or die cut stickers. And I had considered that, um, but I thought ephemera and ephemera bundle might be a little bit more fun. Um, but please let me know in the comments if you would prefer just a couple of sticker sheets um, or if an ephemera bundle sounds something that would be interesting to you. So yeah, that's all four tiers. The tip jar, cozy corner, dots and scribbles and moon mail. I'm super, super excited to get going with it all. Um, a little bit nervous, but excited all the same. I have been wanting to do this for so long and it's fun to just finally start and go for it and see how it goes. And in terms of pricing, in uh, it'll be in Great British Pounds for me, um, but I think Patreon shows you in your own currency, as far as I'm aware. Um, but you will be charged on the date that you join. So it used to be the Patreon charged you on the first of every month, no matter when you join. So if you joined, say today on the 26th, you would be charged today and on the first. But the way it works now is that it's the subscription is recurring on the date that you join. So if you join on the 26th, you'll be charged on the 26th of November, and then you'll be charged again on the 26th of December. So um, obviously it's not open until the 1st, but whenever you join, that's the date that your re reoccurring payment will be. You can uh, leave at any time. There is no obligation. Um, you can go up and down in tiers. Um, like you don't pay any extra. So say you joined the, um, the tip jar tier and then you wanted to move up, you would just pay the difference. Or if you wanted to move down, you would get the rewards for that month and then automatically on the next month you would be uh, in the lower tier. So um, it works pretty well and again if you have any questions you can let me know. So the prices for my tiers will be the following. Tip jar will be £3, Cozy Corner will be 5 Dots and Scribbles will be 8 and the Ephemera Moon Mail tier will be 15 Now that is based on um, it being sent to the UK. I still need to kind of figure out a few bits and pieces to see if I can open that up to international people as well. Um, and if I can, it will be an extra tier um, at a higher price to cover the international postage as well. So yeah, there you go. That's all the main details. Um, if I've forgotten anything, I will pop it in the description below. And like I said, um, 
you can follow me on Instagram and you can get updates there. You can get updates on the community wall on YouTube here. And I will pop out as much information as I can to update everybody with the tiers, the prices, what's included. Um, and yeah, excited to launch on the December 1st. So um, I thought I would talk as well a little bit about um, this kit and the theme and kind of the thought process behind it. Um, I didn't necessarily want to do something uh, themed around kind of festive or new year stuff. So obviously the digital kit, like I mentioned, will be going out mid December, um, but I imagine most people will probably use it to set up their January spreads and it's a whole new year. A lot of people use new journals and that kind of thing, um, but I didn't necessarily want it to um, be themed specifically around the new year. I just wanted to have something fun and cozy um, because that's just generally how I like my journal to look. Um, I don't always do sort of holiday themed things. Um, I might throw a few things in for Halloween or for Christmas, um, but that tends to be in my weekly spreads rather than my monthly ones. But uh, who knows, maybe over the year I might change that and add a few festive sort of um, kits in, depending on what people's preferences are, because I know not everybody celebrates certain holidays too. So we can see over, the t over time what people prefer. Um, but with this one, uh, the idea was basically kind of the thought process of going away on like a lakeside cabin retreat something cozy you know you're you're cozied up by the fire you have hot chocolate and s'mores and um you know you're able to walk out by the lake and enjoy the water and um yeah i just sort of wanted to kind of encapsulate that feeling in the drawings and the things that i was doing um and even the likes of the the textbook paper the the book paper um piece of the kit even that kind of came from the idea that um on a kind of retreat away like this you know you might be um reading a lot more books to relax that kind of thing um and i also just really love using different types of papers to layer in my journal as well so yeah, this theme is a cozy cabin lakeside um, theme, and um, all of the all of the drawings and things are going to be things that you would kind of associate with that. And I got a lot of help with people over on Instagram who helped me out answering some polls. Um, in the future, going forward, I will be doing those kinds of polls on the Patreon itself. So for um, January's kit, the one that will be sent out in January over the month of December. I'll be asking questions and seeing if there's any kind of themes or colours or ideas that anybody has um, and we can vote on what we want to make together and make it kind of a collaborative effort because I want to make sure that everybody who is getting the kits enjoy them um, as much as possible um, and you can give me lots of ideas if you want. If there's anything specific in the kit that you want um, then we can chat about that over on Patreon as well. I think it's going to be really fun to be able to collaborate together on things and um, get some ideas together too. The initial plan for me really creating the kits is to provide you with everything that you might need for setting up a bullet journal for the month um, but you don't necessarily have to use it for a bullet journal or you don't have to use everything in your journal so um, I'm I might be setting it up in a way that sets up the month pages and the weekly pages but um, there could be things left over or there could be things that I just don't feel like using that month and it gives you the opportunity then to use those in other journals if you like. So for example I like to do kind of art journaling where it's kind of collage pages um, and um, I do different types of journaling like morning pages and that kind of thing and sometimes I decorate those and sometimes I don't or um, memory journaling. So if there's anything that I feel like in my kits um, that I can use for anything else I just save it um, for another time which is great um, and the benefit as well of having the downloads from Patreon is that you can use them over and over again you can just keep printing them over and over again um, if you want to use different elements from it. Um, when I create the kits as well I am going to try and make sure that there's enough space around them that if you have a machine to use that you can use for cutting um, like for example for my business I use a silhouette machine um, so if you have a silhouette or even a Cricut then uh, if you don't want to cut them out by hand with scissors then you could probably use it in your um, 
your software as well. Um, I won't be formatting it specifically for those, but I will leave enough space in between each element on the page so that if you do want to use a Cricut or a Silhouette, then you can kind of play around with it yourself. Um, the only thing that might happen is the sizing might change, so you might have to keep an eye on that uh, within your own software, depending on what way you, um, you do it, because I formatted the pages to be A4 size. Um, and I can also format them to be letter size as well, um, to work for US and other international people, <clears throat> depending who else uses um, that format of paper. But A4 and letter size will be the options available to print. Um, and just using the best settings and things that you use, um, I can also uh, let everybody know what kind of papers and stuff that I use whenever I'm printing kits from home. Um, so all of that information will be over on Patreon. Anyway, I feel like I've been rambling on for ages now, so I'm going to leave you to the rest of the video to watch um, the rest of my process for setting up my monthly pages. I will continue to post about the weekly pages as I make them on my Instagram and uh, of course on, on Patreon as well. That will be something that I will be showing um, either in the live streams or pre-recordings or in like an update during the month to show you the different pages as I set them up so that you can get an idea and some inspiration. Um, I also actually forgot to mention that I will be setting up a Discord as well so that we can all post our spreads, get each other kind of excited and show some inspiration and just share everything that we've got. Um, if we're comfortable, you don't have to, but it is something that I will set up for everybody. And um, yeah, so I will show all that kind of information as well, but I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video and finish up the spread and I will check back in whenever the video is about to end. there we have it that is the full monthly spread set up ready to go for December I really love how it's all turned out and how it's all come together I did use a few stickers from my shop as well so those weren't in the kit but I do plan to add little uh, elements like functional elements like that into the kit as well um, but yeah I'm really excited about how it turned out 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to see more. I would love to know what your thoughts are on the Patreon in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, stay cozy, and I will see you in the next one.